support the, the ovary and, and the means that it needs and the nutrients that it needs to begin to heal those cysts can be done. You know, it's it's all possible. It's just now sure. addressing those those concerns. So, do you think a lot of this caused by the misconception that we're under from marketing on television and radio and all that? Just take a pill. Don't worry about what's going on. That philosophy pervades our society for sure. Well, I think we always want a quick fix. I mean, we have drive through. Yes. You know, we everything is. We want instant gratification. Yeah. Um, true goal setting you know which actually takes time you know rome wasn't built in a day <laughs> yeah. you know the whole attitude that you know i get out of college and i want you know i want a retirement income but i have had no experience but you know i want you know i want the world yeah. i think that that attitude is an underlining cause and it's simple it's easy it's convenient. It's a three dollar or seven dollar copay. Yeah. I'm out the door. What do you mean I can't eat French fries? Or what do you mean I can't eat that lard <laughs> burger? Or oh, worse, yeah. that hot dog? Just oh, how about the? This is the worst. Sorry, I'm getting on a pet peeve here. Sure. But deep fried Twinkies. Mm. Oh, Serious? delicious. Oh, see, Bill's had them. Just the sound of it makes me go. Oh my gosh, heart attack on you a plate. You know, how long Twinkies yeah. have been around. It doesn't matter. I come by, you know, I look at some of the breakfast menus, you know, and they've got, you know, uh, tw you know, 20 or no, worse, 76 grams of fat. And, you know, there's 112, you know, carbohydrate. And I just think, oh, my gosh, that's like a diabetic heart stroke. I mean, everything on a plate. Yes. So, but if we want it now, you know, it takes time to. We won't see you at McDonald's anymore when we drive up to the studio for the podcast. Well, yeah, see me how McDonald's is just right next door, next to Roger. <laughs> so, <laughs> Roger the Rooster. Sure. You have a McDonald's in your field? Well, you know, <laughs> next to the barrels, right? It's being built. <laughs> it's being built. Yeah. That's it, you know. But <laughs> I think that that really what we're talking about is a mindset. Sure. And it's a byproduct. Our symptoms are a byproduct of something. Well, here's the kicker because, you know, you've talked about it. And... It, we'll we'll talk about it. this. Could be a sensitive substance subject for the guys out there, but let's open it up. So here we have more and more stress. We produce more and more cortisol. We want faster and faster action. You know, we want sure. it now. And so, how do we know a man is under overstressed? The more cortisol he produces, the faster his orgasm will be. He'll be more and more pre ejaculatory. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, actually, that really is. Because testosterone makes us nurturing, calm build muscle, um, loving, all the things that a woman actually really wants from us is testosterone based. But cortisol is the aggression, fast paced, high stressed, quick, got to get it done now, instant gratification. Mm -hmm. So if I'm under this kind of stress, do I have a lot of time to make love, to make a child? No, I've got to be very fast. Sure. And so it's it's a physiologic you know, adaptation, if you will. Mm -hmm. So here we have this, that a man can look at his body and say, am I performing well? You know, and a woman, let's say she is either not orgasmic or very slow or really quick, same kind of thing. Sure. You know, these are all, all stuff that's in the mix that, you know, this tells you the level of stress you're under. And, mm -hmm. you know, if it's inside, you don't feel stress, it's there. And it's certainly evident. Yeah. I think, I think Every one time of our I shows... here. That's get not ready for true. a podcast. I'm under that stress. That is not true. This explains what's happened to me. Thank <laughs> you, Doctor Morton. This must be. Done it. I can help you. Yeah. He, you know, this must be why Bill always runs into those angry women in his life, <laughs> provoking anger. <laughs> I feel so actually, much better now. We'll, we'll have to do a, a whole Bill show and kind of. Yeah, I think some. we will. Yeah, I yeah, think that's an excellent idea. idea. We just sit down, <laughs> have a wonderful conversation about, about Bill. Bill. <laughs> yes. It's all about Bill. They made a motion That's picture, it. Kill Bill. Did you see that one? I, yeah. I did. Yeah, I stayed I in the house. Matter of fact, it was so successful, they had, what, three of them? Yeah, something like that. I okay. Didn't so like there it. we go. Bill. Bill's Bill. The, the next subject. Well, it's just about runs out of time for today now that we've covered some really good stuff from Dr. in the house. I always appreciate Dr. Munson when he comes in because we cover some really interesting and important things. And I think that one of the things that we can take away from this whole conversation is try to take your actual health seriously. What you're actually putting in your body, how you're doing things. Get a physical occasionally. Have your blood pressure checked. Really get important because this is a lot of natural stuff that unfortunately we're not doing nowadays. We're so busy. 
running around trying to make a living, chasing the kids to soccer games or whatever, that we're allowing ourselves to just really toxify ourselves into a mess. So there, Candace, you can have the last word because you know you want it. You know, if I may say one thing, sure, Bill, that's a fantastic idea for a show. If you didn't, if you didn't realize oh, it, well, we should talk about what do the tests mean and why do these old standbys really are effective? I mean, those are important things, like blood pressure, for example. Absolutely, That'd be a fun, fun podcast to do. Well, we'll do that. Why don't we, we put, put that down there on the calendar then? Let's do it. I think so because a lot of people don't realize how important. I, my father, give you a real quick example. When he passed away, mm -hmm. we had books and books. I couldn't figure out what in the world are these little books. I opened them up, and he had 30 years of blood pressure readings and weight for over 30 years. Wow. He did it twice a day for 30 years. Can you imagine that? Nowadays, we're lucky if we go in once every 30 years yeah. to get our blood pressure. But it just it's kind of interesting how yeah. people change. Interesting. Well, I kind of want to recap. First of sure. all, if... If I want to contact you yeah. again, uh, how would I do that? You can contact me directly at the office to make an appointment or to find out more information at 360-893-8586. Or you can contact me personally at chiroman at dr.com. So C-H-I-R-O-M-A-N, chiroman at doctor.com or dr.com. Well, I just want to thank you. I think it's so important for us to understand, you know, when you read the, the labels or, you know, when you listen to the ads on a lot of these these medications, I mean, sometimes they, it, well, not sometimes, every time I listen, I think, oh my gosh, why would I want to take that? And then, of course, the infamous, and in rare cases, even death. Yes. So you're like, oh in my God, I don't even know what to Just a mild case still. of death. Yeah, just it's mild. It's one a mild. In one hundred. In rare cases, yeah. you know, but I might need that rarity. You never yeah. know. And so um, I do, I love your approach. I think that there is a better way uh, to living, and sometimes it's not not so convenient but the truth is this you're going to pay one way or another yes you will so it why it would behoove us um to take care of uh who we are mm -hmm. you know take care of this body that we dwell in mm -hmm. at least for a season sure. right um and have it to be more profound how can you run the race if you're if you're not able to do that and I think that sometimes when I meet with different business owners they have these great big huge bodacious hairy sexy ideas and dreams they want to accomplish yeah. but they don't feel good and they'll they, they bring that sometimes and they'll say but I have brain fog or you know yeah. I can't think through this or I'm so stressed and I I just think there's a much there's a better way of living to obtain those dreams yes. and I just want to I thank you for being such a huge asset to our community mm, and um, how you can you can literally change you know in a sense uh, our destiny yeah. if if it's grabbing pills and being in pain all the time versus not having to grab them and get up and let's say ride the bike or go on the hike or whatever or you know what eat seaweed Bill's Bill's giving me my seaweed, seaweed. I like to eat seaweed yes so it's organic yum yum it's Lots wonderful of minerals. <laughs> so Lots while, of trace minerals there while, you go while Candace yum, chews yum. on her seaweed we're gonna say it's been great being with you and remember keep us smiling fantastic